As a fundamentalist growing up, when I, when I came in contact with smoking, drinking, dancing Catholics, um, I just assumed that they weren't Christians. Um, it was pretty simple because Christians didn't act the way that they acted. Um, so it was pretty cut and dried. Now, in college, I, I met a, a Catholic that was a pretty serious Catholic. And uh, I thought, you know, he, he's, I think maybe he's by accident a Christian. You know, by accident, he's also Christian, even though he professes to be a Catholic. Um, but I, I don't think until I came into the church or was coming into the church that I fully appreciated uh, the parables that Jesus gave. I believe it's in Matthew, I believe it's in Matthew chapter 23, where he talks about what his, his kingdom, what his church is going to be like. And he uses two, two figures. One is the wheat and the tares. He said, you know, uh, the, the, the field owner goes out and he throws the, the wheat out and it starts to grow. And in the night, the enemy comes and he, he sows weeds in that field. And the weeds come up. And, and the workers come to the owner and says, hey, look at all these weeds. Should we pull them up? And the owner says, no, don't pull them up. We'll let it all grow together. And then at the end, we'll pull, out, you know, we'll pull the, the harvest away and we'll burn up the rest. And the reason he gives is because if we pull up those weeds, it's going to damage the, the good crop. Then the other example that he gives is he says, you know, the, the fisherman goes out and he casts a wide net and he pulls up some tilapia and then he pulls up some carp. And it's all in the same net. And he doesn't worry about it. He just pulls it into the boat. Well, the boat is always a picture of the church. So he pulls the net into the boat, and there's carp in the bottom of the boat, and there's tilapia in the bottom of the boat. But they don't do anything about it until they get back to shore. Then they pull the boat up onto shore, and they go through the, the sorting process. And what I realized is, as a fundamentalist, I wanted to do the sorting process now. You know, that person, that person isn't living like a Catholic, or like a Christian. So that person isn't Christian. And Jesus was saying, if it's my church, if it really is my church, my church is going to have tares and weeds and carp in there. So I realized that really the, the people that I looked at and said, those people, how can, how, can, how can the Catholic church allow them to be part of the church? I realized that those people were actually proof that the Catholic church was the real church that Christ founded because he said they were going to be there. And they are. Now, we're not proud of them, you know, and I don't want to be one of them if I can help it, but they're going to be there. And that's a sign of the church that has got those people in there. Yeah, many times when we come into the church uh, at, from outside the church, it's frustrating because the automatic community isn't there or we don't feel like we can find it. And what I would encourage a, a, a person to do, you, you're coming to the church, you know this is the true church, is do a couple things. First of all, um, maybe look for a group of, of people uh, that is already meeting. Maybe it's the Knights, you know. Um, maybe it's a, a rosary group that meets, you know, on after Mass on a Thursday. Um, those kinds of groups. There are groups in almost every parish like that. It's just they're not obvious, you know, so you have to look for them. The second thing that I would look for is after Mass, look for the people that stay in their pew for about three or four minutes, praying. That's the guy I want to meet. So he's obviously in his pew praying because he's taking it really seriously. Now, it might freak him out when you go up to him because <laughs> he's probably not used to people coming up to him, you know. But you, you know, those are the pe kind of people you can look for. He may or may not be the kind of person that you end up you know, really striking it off with, but he's gonna know other people that take their faith seriously. And he may be able to help you plug into, you know, the groups are there. It's just we don't advertise Miss Catholics very well. <laughs>